Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. In the world of global technology, one company quietly holds the keys to the digital age, ASML. While its name may not be as familiar as Apple or Samsung, its influence is felt in every smartphone, computer, and data center on the planet. ASML operates from its headquarters in the Netherlands, but its reach extends to every corner of the globe, shaping the very foundation of modern electronics. This Dutch firm has a near-total monopoly over the most advanced lithography machines, complex tools that are absolutely crucial for manufacturing the microchips powering everything from everyday gadgets to the world's fastest supercomputers. Without ASML's technology, the progress of the digital world would grind to a halt. At the heart of ASML's dominance are its extreme ultraviolet, or EUV, systems. These are the only machines on Earth capable of etching the tiniest, most powerful circuits onto silicon wafers. Circuits so small, they're measured in nanometers. This technology is the secret ingredient behind the ever-shrinking, ever-faster chips that drive innovation forward. Each EUV machine is a marvel of engineering, costing more than $200 million, and requiring the collaboration of thousands of suppliers and engineers. For tech giants like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel, these machines are not just tools. They are the engines of progress, enabling them to push the boundaries of what's possible in computing, artificial intelligence, and beyond. ASML's unique capability places it at the very center of a global power struggle. Its order book isn't just a list of customers, it's a document of immense geopolitical significance, closely watched by governments and industry leaders alike. Every deal has the potential to shift the balance of technological power. Nations with access to ASML's cutting-edge technology can build the digital infrastructure of tomorrow, fueling economic growth and technological leadership. Those without risk falling behind, unable to compete in the race for innovation and prosperity. Today, the US and China are locked in a high-stakes technological cold war, and ASML has become the primary battleground. Both superpowers understand that control over advanced chip-making is the key to economic and military dominance in the 21st century. Washington now scrutinizes every ASML sale to China, seeing control over these machines as a way to slow Beijing's technological rise. Export restrictions and diplomatic negotiations have turned each shipment into a matter of national security, with global consequences. In this new era, every transaction involving ASML is more than just business, it's a strategic move in the contest for global leadership, with the future of technology and power hanging in the balance. To truly grasp ASML's dominance in the semiconductor world, it's essential to understand the fundamental difference between DUV and EUV lithography. These two technologies are at the heart of how the world's most advanced chips are made, and the gap between them is reshaping the global tech landscape. Lithography in essence is like a high-tech printing process. Instead of ink, it uses beams of light to etch incredibly tiny, intricate circuits onto silicon wafers. This process is what allows billions of transistors to fit onto a single chip, powering everything from smartphones to data centers. DUV, or deep ultraviolet lithography, relies on 193 nanometer light. For decades, it's been the backbone of the chip industry, producing the processors and memory chips found in cars, home appliances, and countless everyday electronics. DUV machines are reliable, widespread, and have enabled the digital revolution as we know it. But as the world demanded ever smaller, faster, and more energy-efficient chips, Dove technology began to hit a wall. The circuits it could produce simply weren't small enough for the next generation of computing power. Engineers faced mounting challenges and innovation started to slow. That's where EUV or extreme ultraviolet lithography comes in. Using light with a wavelength of just 13.5 nanometers, almost 15 times smaller than DUV, EUV enables the creation of the world's most advanced chips. These chips are the brains behind artificial intelligence, supercomputers, and the latest smartphones, pushing the boundaries of what technology can do. Mastering EUV is no small feat. The technology is so complex and expensive that only one company, ASML, has managed to perfect it. This gives ASML a total monopoly over the most advanced chip-making machines on the planet, making it a critical player in the global tech ecosystem. The leap from DUV to EUV isn't just a minor upgrade, 
it's a revolutionary transformation. EUV allows for much finer details, enabling chips to be smaller, faster, and more powerful than ever before. It's a technological breakthrough that's changing the rules of the game. Only countries with access to EUV technology can manufacture the most cutting-edge chips. Those restricted to DUV are left behind, unable to compete at the highest level of innovation. This divide is creating a new hierarchy in global technology, separating the leaders from the followers. That's why the United States has placed strict export controls on ASML's EUV systems, making them the centerpiece of a high-stakes technology standoff with China. Control over these machines means control over the future of computing and by extension, global influence. The competition for access to EUV machines is now shaping alliances trade policies, and the very future of global power. Nations are racing to secure their place in the semiconductor supply chain, knowing that whoever leads in chip technology will lead in the digital age. The technological divide between those with EUV and those without has become a new geopolitical fault line, one that will define the balance of power for years to come. The U.S. has moved aggressively to block China from acquiring ASML's EUV machines, pressuring the Dutch government to enforce strict export controls. The goal, create a bottleneck that slows China's chip-making ambitions and preserves the West's technological edge. While EUV sales to China are banned, older DUV machines slip through the cracks. Chinese firms seized the opportunity, buying up DUV systems to boost their own chip production. This loophole is now under fire, as security experts warn that even DUV technology can aid China's military and AI development. The export wall built by Washington is full of gaps, and the debate over where to draw the line is only intensifying. The race to control chip-making tools is far from over. In a twist, the US has relaxed its own bans, allowing NVIDIA to sell advanced AI chips to China. While still blocking ASML's machine sales, this fish versus fishing pole strategy lets China buy finished chips, but not the tools to make them. The result? American firms profit, while European companies like ASML bear the brunt of containment. For China, it's a mixed blessing, access to top chips, but continued dependence on foreign suppliers. The policy exposes contradictions in US strategy, raising questions about whether the goal is security or simply keeping China as a customer. Allies are left confused and the unified front against China is starting to crack. The double standard is fueling discord among Western partners. The sale of ASML's older DUV machines to Chinese firms with military ties has sparked alarm. One buyer, CETC, is deeply embedded in China's military-industrial complex. Another, the Shenzhen International Quantum Academy, is advancing quantum tech flagged as a security risk. ASML insists it follows the law, but critics argue that focusing only on whole machines ignores the risks posed by components and software. The Dutch government allowed these sales, but anxiety is rising. The loopholes in export controls are now a major security concern. Europe is growing frustrated with US policy, seeing it as a double standard that hurts European interests. The US blocks ASML's sales to China, but lets its own firms profit from the same market. ASML, a European tech champion, is forced to sacrifice sales while US companies fill the gap. This has triggered calls in the EU for a more independent tech strategy and fairer burden sharing. The US also controls many ASML components, giving it veto power over the company's global business. Europe's resentment is fueling a push for technological sovereignty and straining the transatlantic alliance. The shifting rules and contradictions in US policy are creating chaos for the global chip industry. Companies like ASML, NVIDIA, and TSMC face huge uncertainty, making long-term planning nearly impossible. Billions are at stake in new chip fabs, but sudden export controls can upend investments overnight. Compliance teams scramble to keep up with ever-changing regulations. The confusion disrupts the delicate global supply chain, forcing companies to rethink their strategies and even choose sides. The result? Costly, inefficient decoupling and a fragile system powering the world economy. The semiconductor industry's foundation of global interdependence is fracturing. The stakes for innovation and growth have never been higher. The chip war's impact is global. 
threatening shortages, price hikes, and supply chain chaos for everything from cars to laptops. Chip makers are caught between US and Chinese demands, forced to build redundant supply chains and pass higher costs to consumers. Nations are pouring billions into domestic chip production, risking wasteful overcapacity and market distortions. The arms race in semiconductors is accelerating, but at the cost of global collaboration. The industry's strength has always been open standards and shared research. Now, protectionism and division threaten to slow innovation for everyone. The world risks trading short-term advantage for long-term progress. The technologies that connect us are now dividing us. The future of global innovation hangs in the balance. As 2025 draws to a close, the battle over ASML's machines is shaping a divided digital world. These advanced lithography systems, essential for producing the world's most cutting-edge chips, have become the focal point of a high-stakes global standoff. The fate of entire industries, from artificial intelligence to consumer electronics, now hinges on who controls this technology. Export controls and patent wars are the new iron curtain, splitting the globe into rival tech blocks. Governments are drawing hard lines restricting access and forming alliances, as the race for technological supremacy intensifies. The world is witnessing a digital arms race with each side determined to secure its own future. The US seeks to maintain its lead, leveraging its influence over key suppliers and global standards. China races for self-sufficiency, pouring resources into research, development, and domestic production. Both nations are investing billions knowing that whoever wins this race will shape the next era of global power. Contradictory policies reveal the tension between security and profit, weakening the West's position and giving China time to catch up. Multinational companies are caught in the crossfire, forced to navigate shifting regulations and uncertain markets, while governments struggle to balance economic interests with national security. Two parallel tech ecosystems are emerging, forcing nations and companies to pick sides. The world is fragmenting into separate digital spheres, each with its own standards, supply chains, and alliances, making global cooperation more difficult than ever before. For consumers, this means higher prices, less choice, and incompatible devices. Everyday technology could become more expensive and less reliable, as companies struggle to adapt to new rules and limited access to critical components. The struggle for control over ASML's light is a struggle for the future of power and innovation. Whoever holds this key will not only dominate the tech industry, but also influence the direction of global progress for decades to come. The decisions made now will define the digital world for generations, and the outcome is far from certain. As the world stands at this crossroads, the choices of today will echo far into the future, shaping the lives of billions in ways we are only beginning to imagine.